everyone. In this video, we're going to go over floor division in Python. So floor division is just kind of returning the largest whole number up, up to, but or including the normal division result. So let's go ahead and go over some examples so we can understand how this works. So first, let's look at normal division in Python. So I have two examples right here, and then we have 10 divided by 2 and then 11 divided by 2. If we run this file here, um, we're getting 5.0 and 5.5. So when we do normal division, we'll get it in decimal form. If it goes in evenly, uh, in the case of 10 divided by 2, we get 5 with 0 0.0 added on at the end. Um, if it doesn't go in evenly, so in the case of 11 divided by 2, uh, we get the decimal form of that of 5.5. But we could also look at 11 divided by 2 as um, 5 with a remainder of 1. Um, because we can go, 2 goes into 11, you know, 5 times, we get 10 with 1 left over. We can grab that remainder by using the modulus operator in Python. And this video is not really focused on that, but let's just go ahead and look at two examples of how that looks, what that looks like. So we have these same two examples, 10 mod 2 and 11 mod 2 here. Um, this should return 0 and this should return 1 because there's no remainder for 10 divided by 2 and there's a remainder of 1 for 11 divided by 2. If we run that, we get 0 and 1. So we got the same result here. It goes in five times with one remainder and we get the 1 right there. Now, with four division, we can get that whole number instead. So instead of worrying about the remainder, we can get the actual whole number. So if we go ahead and try to do a floor op a division in Python with those same two values, we can do 10. And we can, instead of doing just one forward slash, we do two forward slashes, two. And we'll do print 11 forward slash forward slash two. And so that's how we write floor division in Python. We use this operator here, two division operators instead of just one. Now, if I run this, put this out. Um, you'll see we get 5 both times because uh, in both these cases here, 10 divided by 2, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that returns 5. And then 11 divided by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And the next one's 12. 12 is too big. 5 with the remainder of 1. With 4 division, we just return just the 5. So if you want to get a whole number, um, that's one way of doing it in Python. Of course, we can use this with any other example as well. Uh, we could do something like 30 floor division of 4 or make it a little easier to understand. We'll do 25, we'll do 100, four division of 25, and we do another one of like 101, four division of 25. Um, and now we run this, I run this again here, we get five, five, and four, and four. Um, so the four and four are these two down here, um, 25, 50, 75, 100, um, that is the number we turn there, and then 25, 50, 75, 100, with one left over, I want to go ahead and print out the modulus operator for this one as well, 101 modulus 25. You'll see we do, in fact, return 1 there because um, we're getting that remainder of 1. Um, but that is not included in the floor division operator. With whole numbers, it's pretty straightforward. You just round down. Now, with negative numbers, it's a little more confusing. It still works the same way, but negative 5 is greater than negative 6, so the numbers will be a little different. So in this case here, let's go ahead and do something like print. Uh, negative 10 divided, divided by with the floor division of 2. Uh, this should still give us a negative 5, just the negative version of the last number we had. To run this, we do in fact get negative 5. Um, but if I were to look at the other example, 11, print, and I can do negative 11, floor division of 2. Now this one is going to look a little different. Uh, before we run that one, let's also print out the normal division of this as well. And that should hopefully help clear this up. So if I run out both these examples right here, we get negative 5.5 and negative 6. Now instead of this one being the same as the previous one, we get negative 6. But why is that? Um, that would be because negative 5.5 is still rounded down. And in this case, uh, since negative 5 is larger than negative 6, uh, we can't put negative 5. That's bigger than this number. So instead, we have to round down to negative 6. So it just looks a little different for... Uh, negative numbers and if you wanted to switch the negative sign around um, we get the same result it doesn't really matter where it's at so we can do 11 divided by negative 2 and we can also do um, 11 floor division of negative 2 um, this will give us the same result as before so just pay attention with negative numbers when we round down it's going to go to negative 6 from negative 5.5 instead of 5 you're still rounding down the function is still working the same as before um, so that's how you use floor division in python uh, hopefully that all made sense. If you have any questions, let me know. But other than that, um, that is it for this quick video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.